One, two, three. Unfortunately, we won't have this um, question session because it's all already 10.30 and Maria is having another presentation uh, right now. So I, good luck, Maria, with Thank your you. presentation in the other hall. Let's have a round of applause for Maria. <clears throat> we'll continue with the presentation of the solution that has been with us for, for a while. Uh, but the audience is still growing because the solution is getting better. Uh, like the projects are getting more and more complicated with this product. I'm talking about Nimbus, and uh, the presentation about Nimbus will be delivered by Victoria Siskova, who is a product manager uh, on the product. Let's welcome her on stage with your applause. Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you, Kirill. My name is Victoria. I'm a product manager for Nimbus. Uh, so I'd like to start with uh, the fact that this presentation is uh, very special to me personally, as uh, a bit more than a year ago I came working at Gurtam, so this project was handed over to me. And as this application uh, is already almost two years old, I'd like not just uh, tell you what Nimbus is, but uh, more like concentrate on uh, the, the um, achievements of our development team over the last year. So, uh, what are we going to talk about today? Uh, what is Nimbus? Uh, we'll start with some very basic information, just in case, for those of you who doesn't have any project yet. Um, then we'll uh, move on to how we grow and what we do for it, Nimbus and figures. Uh, after that, I'll um, give you a brief review of the functionality, uh, which was uh, released since the previous partner conference. And uh, for the last, our, I will share our plans for the future. Uh, so, first of all, uh, raise your hands who already use Nimbus with, uh, for any of your projects. Okay, I see some of you here. That's really nice. Uh, so what is Nimbus? Uh, Nimbus is the software tool which was spe uh, specifically designed for passenger trans transportation companies. And it comprises uh, the basic fun functionality of satellite uh, monitoring and also some specialized tools for transportation management. So in a nutshell, the application allows you to create or import stops and routes with schedules, uh, assign units to rides and control performance of the rides online in the real time, uh, and execute reports to get access to the rides uh, history and estimate their quality. Also, you can always use our open API to create unique solutions in passenger transportation sphere and uh, you can keep your passengers informed with our special tool, tool called the locator. Uh, so uh, now let's talk about numbers, as I mentioned before, and we'll start with one of our main metrics. This is average amount of non-empty rides per day. Uh, I know it sounds a bit complicated, so let me explain a bit here. So here we count only those rides uh, which has at least one stop visited. So these are uh, real ways to use uh, Nimbus. And we've been collecting these statistics, as you can see, from the moment of the release of the application. And at first, the growth was pretty smooth. But uh, as you can see, uh, like from the middle for the last year, uh, the numbers have grown uh, constantly, and uh, you can see some good results here. That is why uh, we can say that Nimbus was successfully implemented uh, in some real projects. So what about other interesting numbers? Uh, Nimbus is currently available in uh, 14 languages, and we're really proud of it because we started with just three, uh, English, Spanish, and Russian, but Thanks to you, to our partners and your projects, uh, we've already added 
much more languages. And let me remind you that we're always happy to add even more. So if you want to translate Nimbus, just write to support at guten.com and we will gladly give you this opportunity. Uh, on the right, you can see, on, on the right of the screen, you can see some other numbers. Uh, these uh, have been collected from the February 2018. So since this time, 25 releases of the application uh, were uh, added and each of them contained new functionality which extended your opportunities and are valuable for the users. Also, these uh, releases included 106 tasks, and as you can see, in, as you can probably see in our Guten news, uh, every month we deliver new functionality, we keep going with that. Uh, also, we have more than 600 messages on the forum where we discuss Nimbus functionality and uh, where you can leave your feature request, as you know. And uh, you may have one question. Uh, those of you who already tried to leave your request on the forum or in person, how do we actually choose what feature to develop? So, here's the answer. Uh, first of all, all of your ideas are collected in a special list which is called backlog, uh, and then we carefully analyze them. Also, we keep the statistics uh, on the popularity of the requests among the community. So we count how many of them uh, do you leave, and that is why we deliver on the only the functionality with the greatest value for the users, for all of you. So uh, this is a screenshot of uh, our statistics of the backlog, as, and as you can see, 37% of backlog stories uh, of Nimbus has the done status. So let me remind you that all of the stories go here directly from you. So we're working on your request constantly. Uh, also, uh, during the last year, we can stress out several areas how we uh, develop our app because we actually try to concentrate on different tasks and evenly develop all the functional parts of the system. Uh, we'll stop uh, a bit later in more details um, in each of that, but basically it is online monitoring because we try to improve our existing tools and give you new ones. Uh, the locator, we constantly working on improvements uh, for your passengers. Uh, reports, uh, we add some new reports and new settings so that you can get more information in a more convenient way. And operations with data, with data we will stop on that a bit later. So, uh, let's go deeper in this uh, area and we will start with online monitoring. Uh, so, first of all, shapes of stops, as you can see. Once you click on the stop, uh, the shape of a GFN is uh, revealed. So, it is useful, as you can see, uh, whether the last message of the unit gets inside the GFN or not. Just online, as easy as that. Uh, percentage of the engaged units, actual versus planned, for each route. You can see it over here. And uh, the actual amount um, stands for the real number of the units that are right now uh, performing their rights. And the plant number um, means uh, how many units should be there according to the schedule. So you can uh, check if all the units are in their places. Also, uh, many... Uh, that was, I guess, long awaited by many of you feature. We added uh, captures with uh, units' names. So now you can constantly see names of units, not just in the tooltips as, as it was before. And uh, speaking of that, uh, we actually redesigned these tooltips. Previously, there was only the name of the unit, uh, right, and hurry or delay. And we also uh, added the added their um, estimated time of arrival and the next stop to visit. As you see here, it's Mao Che in one minute, right? Uh, so, also let's move to our locator. 
And as I mentioned before, we also added the estimated time of arri arrival there for the passengers as this feature is kind of really important to them. So how do we count it? Uh, we simply take into account the hurry or delay of a unit and adjust the schedule according to this information so that passenger have uh, the real data uh, on the unit's movement. Also, we've added the you are here button over here. Uh, clicking on that, a uh, passenger can visually assess which stop is closer to them, so it come in handy. And also, we've added some new map layers. It's Google Map Layers. Previously, it was only OpenStreetMap. So now the user can uh, choose whatever works better for them. Also, for the controlling authorities, usually reports are essential. So obviously, we've added some new features in this uh, area also. So first of all, uh, visualiza visualization of executed rights with tracks on the map. So now, once you run a report, you can um, go to the map and see the real track. And uh, also, as in online section, you can click on the stop and it's GFNs reveals. So it is very um, useful for analyzing any kind of problem situations. Uh, also, we've added a statistic block in the report section. So now you don't need to count uh, the amount of the rights, for example, all together in this graph. You have all this information here uh, for the rights of unit or rights of route. Anyway, you have it. Also, we've added a new setting over here. Uh, it is fulfillment of rights. So previously, the right was considered to be fulfilled. Uh, if just one stop was visited. But you may have uh, more strict uh, requirements anyway. So now you can uh, set uh, a value upon reaching which the right will be considered fulfilled and otherwise not fulfilled, right? Also, lately we've added a new report type uh, by root group rights. So now it's very comfortable for you to run this report and get all the information together uh, for the whole root group. And once you click on this uh, row, you can get the digitalization by every unit, which can be really useful for you once you want to know who is, uh, whose performance is like, not so good as you want. Uh, also, as the application de developed, we couldn't help but wonder how can we give you the opportunity to use the data which is created in Nimbus. So after analyzing your requests and uh, doing the research, we uh, decided to make it G GTFS format. So at the moment, we've already implemented import and export of data in this format. but We'll get there. Let's start with what uh, is actually GTS, GTFS format. So the general transit fee specification is an open standard format uh, for exchanging public transportation schedule, geographic, and fare information. So more or less clear that this is kind of open uh, format, but you may ask why GTFS? So uh, the answer is basically here. This data specification allows public transport company to uh, share their data in the format which uh, is compatible with a wide variety of other systems, right? So today the GTFS format uh, is used by thousands of transport companies. And uh, let's um, uh, take a look in more details what opportunities it gives to our users, import and export both. So first of all, start using Nimbus easily because once you have a new project and it may happen that your client already has some data in this GTFS format, then you can simply import it and uh, it makes the initial setting of a depot much easier and much quicker. Also, uh, one of the most important ones is uh, integration with other systems. As you can export all the data of the depot, you can easily integrate with any other system you want. Say, some fancy schedule planner. 
or some service for the passenger or well Google Maps so that your passenger can uh, make their routes using Google Maps, right? Also, you can back up your data. If you need, you can just create a spare copy of all the data and you will be sure that nothing's gonna happen with that. And last but not the least, you can transfer data between different depots. If for some reason you need to uh, all your data to go from one depot to another, you can do that now. Uh, so, uh, as, uh, as I mentioned in the beginning, the application is almost two years old, so I'd like all of us to take a look at the timeline of the development. So, in September 2017, uh, we released Nimbus, and from this time to the uh, till the last uh, year partner conference, Telematics 2018, uh, we've already had the first reviews on the application's work and the first information about real uh, projects that were launched by that period. Also, we have uh, developed a lot of really useful features for our users, uh, such as blocks, locator, white label, compatibility with real and local, and much more else. And uh, we didn't stop our development, as you know, and today, in 2019, I'm here happy to tell you about all this functionality, new functionality, as I've already uh, told you, and also, more than that, now we give you extensive opportunities for the integration with any third-party systems. Uh, so in the near future, we are planning to work on server notifications as we are really happy to be the basis for your own developments and also uh, the functionality with, uh, for working wo with groups of units will be added pretty soon. So you may ask, uh, why do we have a question mark here? And the answer is pretty simple. As you know, we're constantly developing our app, striving to make it better. But uh, as I described you before, all of our new features are based on your requests only. So that is why here's this question mar mark. Because who knows, maybe your request will be our next plan and our next functionality. And I'd like to remind you that you can find all the information about the updates and description of uh, the new functionalities, this little how to do this new stuff on the forum. And uh, I encourage you to leave there your comments, your requests, and support each other with likes and comments as it is really important for us, for our development team. Also, you can always uh, write to me directly, suvietgurton.com. And well, what else can I add here? Let's make Nimbus even better together. Thank you.